just a quick warning. For some reason, this recording thing that I used recorded my mic horribly. And it sounds disgusting. I'm so sorry. But, uh, yeah, let's go through this video. Alright, I can't find the intro clip, so um, I'll just talk over this one right here. Um, I'll actually show you how to make this in the end. Anyways, so basically, um, uh, yeah, we're going to be going over grip, how to make like object grabbing, and also an issue that a lot of you guys have been having that I'm going to show you in a little bit, but that's overview of the Let's go. Okay, so here's the issue a lot of you have been having, where you just, when you join in on PC, not on VR, you just see this. So, uh, thanks to this guy right here, he figured out a fix to it. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to show you that right now. Alright, so here in yet another open sourced place, this was what this person right here linked to their ex link to their Deform account in the description as long as a link to this place, which is open sourced. Just go ahead and click those three dots and click edit, and then you can get in here on your own. So they did do some editing to that place and made gripping. So we have like a ball right here can of soda, and then like, uh, and spawn brick, it's a button, you know, here's, <laughs> <coughs> here's the script they use for the button, so, uh, yeah, we don't need to go for this, and then this thing, I believe, yes, you can just like, I'm pretty sure you can just delete this right here, if you want. Or just hide it. I don't know. Whatever you want. And then, these are the non anchored bricks right here. I don't know why this one's red. I think there's something special about it. I don't know. But, uh. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that was. Okay. okay. <clears throat> so, basically. Any parts or mesh parts and stuff that you want to uh, people want people to grab. So let's say I want this huge thing for people to be able to actually grab in their hand. Then uh, I'll just name this. Yay! Just take this. Go ahead and put it in the can grab folder. And then boom, they can grab it. Uh, I don't currently have my VR plugged in right now, so I do not need to show a demonstration, but all you do is, you know, go, touch it, use a grip thing, pick it up, you know, normally can throw it, can do all that stuff. Um, the person did also say it was designed for Oculus Quest 2 controllers, but, um, yeah, it, I'm pretty sure it can work with them. So, we're going to go ahead and, oh, this is not the right screen, hold on. Oh, well, yeah, that is actually, um, indeed how you can make anything, like, grabable. I can, well, I can adjust the size as long as you can grab folder, it's good. Now, before, you're going to go and ask me how to make players grabbable with this place you can't sadly but you now I'm gonna look at this and see if I can figure that out and I'll get back to you in a second okay so here's how to script this uh, cool little thing right here that I showed in the beginning uh, I'll show it again real quick so you know like oh big reward yes I want to finish the obby yay yay <laughs> um, yeah, it's very easy. So, um, basically what I did is I have this thing right here, can collide is equal to 
false and the one you want to mail clip through. And then I have another part inside of it that's invisible but also can client as false. Then we have this script. So basically what you need to do is the sound you want to play, put into workspace, and then reference that song here. Hold on, right here. So game.workspace. It's just a running memory, and then make that play. And then part dot parent. So let me just explain this script. So right here, if it's humanoid, that means there's a player there. So when it's touched, it gets a part, and then if the part has a humanoid in it, it's going to go ahead and, you know, run the code. Anyway, so here, we're going to do script.parent, or no, part.parent, wait for child, humanoid root part, dot c frame equals game.workspace.tp1 dot c frame. And the tp1 is just, here's the backgrounds, looks a little ugly on the outside, I know. Uh, it's just this invisible can collide off part that I have here. And that in the work in the workspace that I named TP1 because this is where it teleports you right here. So just put a part, name it TP1, wherever you want to teleport to, and um, and then this stuff doesn't matter unless you want to make that achievement thing. Which cool. if you do, go ahead and put a remote event called backrooms in there. And, and I have it in a remote events folder. But if I take it out, then I wouldn't have to do remote events. I'll just have to do game that replicated storage, backrooms, fire client. We also need to get the player, so I'll just go ahead and copy down that script. Okay, so then we go into that script inside the backrooms achievement thing, which is I have very tiny right now and invisible. So the script does is game dot replicated storage dot remote event events, which is a folder dot backrooms on client event. Anyway, so first it makes it visible, then it tweens the size. This would probably be different depending on what you're doing. I also have a UI corner inside of the text label. So it's gonna wait three, make it visible again. Anyways, uh yeah, that was how to script no clipping into the backrooms. Yeah. Tell me if you want more of these little mini scripting things at the end.